Hey guys, welcome back sa ating basic web development tutorial series. So we are at part 10 and today we are going to talk about CSS DOM. So last time kung pinanood yung tutorial, it is about HTML DOM. So pretty much the same lang sila but today we are going to manipulate CSS rather than HTML. So yung mga style naman yung pakikialaman natin gamit yung document object model. So let's start. Ano nga ba CSS DOM? So same lang sila. CSS DOM, Document Object Model, the model of a website. And ano yung kayang gawin ng JavaScript dun sa CSS DOM? So, it can control every aspect of the DOM. So, pwede niyang palitan yung mga style, yung mga color, yung mga font. So, from the last episode, sinabi ko na yun. But today, we are going to talk about that. And also, we can create a dynamic website, which I explained in the last video. So, pwede na tayong gumawa ng paiba-ibang content na website. So guys, for today, we are just going to try and change our CSS content. So, we are going to do that by using this method, yung document.getElementById. So, last time, pinag-aralan na natin yan, yung document.getElementById. Dot style, dot attribute. So, yung dot style, ibig sabihin, pinapoint out niya yung style yung babaguhin natin. And yung attribute, yun yung tinatawag na color, font family, font size, and many more then equal something. So, yung value ng style na yun. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan natin, let's go sa ating Notepad++ and mag-code tayo. So, okay, as always, meron akong ni-ready dito na isang maliit na website na walang masyadong laman. So, if we launch this in Chrome, eto na yung laman yan. I am H1. I am paragraph. Pin dot. Okay, so, guys, again, Ang gagawin natin ngayon is we are going to change the style without the use of CSS. So, gagamitin na natin JavaScript and i-manipulate natin yung CSS niya using JavaScript. So, again, I have the external JavaScript. So, if you haven't watched that video yet, panoorin nyo. So, we have the script src.fnc.js. So, magkasama ulit siya sa isang folder which is at yung fnc and at yung index. So, ito yun. Then, ito yung FNC. Walang laman. So, ito yung JavaScript natin. So, dito tayo magsuspret ng JavaScript. Okay, now, what I want to do is change this H1 to color red. So, papa ano natin papalitan yun? So, let's go to our JavaScript. And then, put document that get element by ID. Then, double parentheses. So, close and open. Tapos, yung gusto natin palitan is yung head. Which is yung yung ID na. So, we are going to type head. Then, that style, then yung that attribute. So, ano yung attribute na mapalitan natin? It is called color. Okay? Then, equals yung value natin. So, dalawang quotation marks, then red. Then, semicolon. Save natin yan, control S, then dipat, then, or i-reload na lang natin to. So, you can see guys, eto tayo. Then, if I reload this, magiging color red siya. So, we have manipulated our CSS using only JavaScript. So, wala tayong kahit anong style tag or wala tayong external CSS sa naginawa natin. So, guys, kung hindi nyo pa rin intindihan yung CSS, then just go back sa ating tutorial. Meron tayong video tutorial about CSS. So, yun muna ipanoorin nyo bago to. Okay, guys? Now, nagawa na natin siyang red. Then, gusto ko naman yung paragraph. Gawin natin blue. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, again, guys, document that get element by id then ano yung pangalan ng id niya par par that style that color equals blue then semicolon save then reload as you can see guys na iba na natin siya i am h1 i am paragraph so nagiba yung color niya without any use of css so guys what if we want to add more style sa isang element so, pwede natin i-copy-paste lang to and we can create multiple styles. So, may style.color na siya dito. And then, we can do font family. So, I have, um, so kahit ano pwede nyo ilagay dito. So, lahat ng meron kayo. So, I'm gonna try Montserrat. So, this is my iconic font. Then, control s natin yan. Save. And as you can see, guys, ito yung font nyan, which is Arial Ata, or hindi ko alam, basta yun. Then, if I reload this, and you can see, nagbago na yung font family niya with, together with the color. So, you can write full CSS with this kahit wala kayong CSS file. But, it is not recommended, guys. So, ito lang, ginagamit lang to para maiba natin yung style while there is an existing style na CSS. Okay, guys? Okay, good. 
So now what I want to do is diba tinuro ko sa inyo yung on click method. Then I want to do pagka pinindot ko to mag-iiba yung color niya. Okay? So naalala niyo pa yung functions na tinuro ko sa inyo. So we are going to do functions, function, then function name na rin, change color. Then dalawang parenthesis na walang parameters kung naalala niyo. If guys hindi niyo pa alam to, watch the previous video yung about functions. Tsaka nyo, kayo pumunta dito. Okay, guys? Now, ayan na, meron tayong function change color. Now, I want to change this head. Gagawin natin blue. Pagpapalitin natin siya. And ito yung gagawin natin red, yung par. Red. Save natin yan. So, if, as you can see, guys, if we reload this, and yung pa rin, hindi nagbabago, kahit pinutin ko to, wala. So, guys, kung naalala nyo from the last tutorial, Pupunta tayo dapat dun sa HTML natin. Then, yung button natin, lalagyan natin ng on click. Then, equals, dalawang quotation marks. Then, ilalagyan natin yung function name natin. Change color. Ito yung dalawang parenthesis. Okay? Change color. Then, dalawang parenthesis. Save. Then, reload. So, you can see guys, wala pa rin nagbabago. But, once na pinindot natin tong button na to, we can then change the color. So, yun guys. Did you get it? So, Ayan guys, so what if we want to toggle between colors? So, gawa tayo na isa pang button. So, ah, ibahin naman natin yung pangalan. Button ng 1. Then, ito. Change color. Revert color. Save natin. So guys, as you can see, may dalawa ng button dito. Change color and revert color. So, gusto natin guys, hindi muna nakikita yung revert color, yung change color muna. So, guys, kukunin natin ngayon ito, BTN1. De, naalala nyo pa guys, na pwede natin i-manipulate yung buong CSS. Then, we can just put document that get element by ID. Then, yung name nya, BTN1. That style, that visibility is equals to hidden. Hidden. So, yan. Save. Then, if we reload this, nakatago na siya. So, wala siya. Hindi siya nag-exist dyan. Hindi natin siya mapipindot. Then, if we, we, we click this, so, uh, nakikita nyo, nagbabago siya, pero wala yung revert color. So, guys, what we want to do is to copy this and then ilagay natin dito and then ilagay natin visible. Save. Control S. Reload. Then, reload natin to. Change color. Naging visible na siya. But, The problem is, yung change color naman yung hindi nawala. So, again, we need to do this. Then, maging hidden dapat yung ating unang BTN. So, which is BTN. So, yan. Nalagyan na natin ang BTN. So, mawala na yan pagka nireload natin to. So, if we reload this, yan, nakikita nyo yung sali button. If I click change color, mapapalitan nyo na revert color here. So, ayan, nakita nyo, lumabas yung revert color. But, if you click this, walang mangyayari kasi same yung function nila. Now, we are going to make another function. Okay, dalawa na yung function. So, revert color naman. Revert color. And then, gagawin naman natin red yung head and then blue yung paragraph. So, are you getting what I doing? So, pinagpapalit ko lang yung color ng head and yung paragraph. Okay? And then, ngayon, ang gusto naman natin itago is yung BTN which is yung revert color yung BTN1 pala. So, ilipat natin to dito. And then, ito. Papakita na natin yung BTN ulit. So, guys, hindi pa gagana yan. Alam nyo kung bakit? Because, hindi pa natin pinapalitan dito yung function. So, we are, we are gonna put revert color here. So, control S natin. And now, we have a toggle switch. Kung ano yung color nyo. Okay? As you can see, reload this. Click this. May yung blue yung H1 and magiging red yung paragraph. If I revert color, magiging red yung H1, magiging blue yung paragraph. And we can do this in a loop sequence. So, ayun guys, we can manipulate everything using JavaScript. So, ito yung document object model. It is a very powerful tool. Ito yung ginagamit para magkaroon ng dynamic websites and para mas magpaganda yung design natin. So, mas maging dynamic yung design natin, guys. So, yun lang guys for today and I hope you learned something. Kung may hindi kayo naintindihan, just comment down below and I will try to answer your questions. 
So guys, um, thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.